Hi guys and gals and welcome to PC Pandemic, where today I want to share with you something that I recently experienced. I recently switched from my laptop, an Asus G75VW rocking an Intel Core i7-3630QM and an Nvidia GTX 670M 3GB to my custom built PC rocking an Intel Core i5-6600K an MSI R9390 and 16 gigs of DDR4 memory. While watching this video, please keep in mind that obviously a custom built PC is a better performance per dollar than a laptop. There's just no doubt about that. Instead, I will focus on a comparison and I'll go quite deeply into it between the two so you can understand the pros and cons of both of them. Please, desktops first. Okay, so they're more customizable, powerful, they offer better overclocking and airflow, they can look pretty darn good, you can find some awesome deals on components, and most of all, they're excellent baby docking stations. On the other hand, they are usually heavier, more power hungry, they take up a lot of space, plugging all your stuff in is not as easy as on a laptop since most ports are in the back, and a first time builder might just get discouraged from all the components in the market, plus you may think it needs tons of time, practical skills and patience. Laptops are more portable, you can use them wherever in your house, they are just easier to choose since there is just a few variants to choose from. You buy one and a gaming mouse and you're done. Software wise, they come pre-configured so you shouldn't have any major issues with that. And they also work if your power is down. But their cons are pretty limiting. They're not upgradable, they're very pricey, they offer less performance. You're stuck with that one keyboard and screen so you better like them. They might have tons of bloatware and if something goes wrong and your warranty has expired, you have to rely completely on the manufacturer and that might be really expensive, this first hand experience. But these are just the differences on paper and since I don't like papers, or else I'll just be posting my videos on the New York Times, don't you think? I want to talk about my personal experience. I've been using my gaming laptops for three years very intensely before the motherboard died on me. Found some sad moments in this video. And so I decided to build my own PC. And now that I've been using it for almost six months, I gotta say, I'm still missing something about my laptop. I mean, sure, gaming on this thing is amazing. It offers such a great performance, but I used to meet up with my friends at the place just bring my laptop, hook it up to a projector and we were good playing games and having fun all night. If I wanted to do that now, I would have to unplug everything, put the stuff in their boxes, burn 4000 calories, bring the whole thing to the car, securing it, and burning another 4000 calories, uh, bringing the computer inside their house, hook everything up and then maybe play for what? Half an hour? Not ideal. And since we're on the topic of portability, I currently live in Sorono, studying Milan, and my parents are from Pesaro, and also they divorced when I was little, so I got two houses there, so every single time I had to move from one place to the other, I just used to bring my laptop and that was it. If I wanted to do that now, I would need to burn way more than 4,000 calories. Another nice thing about laptops is the fact that they're complete packages, I mean, you just get one and you're done, you got everything you need in there. When I built my PC, I only thought about the components, I didn't think about the fact that I had to buy a monitor, something to put in expansion slots and the peripherals. I mean, I still have to buy a Blu-ray and DVD drive, something to read my SD card and a webcam. Sure, if you buy one of those, you're gonna be able to use them for whenever they last, but still, you gotta spend that money. But keep this in mind as well, when I first bought my laptop I was able to play games at high settings no problem. After some time I had to lower the settings a little bit 
And this went on for three years until the point when games started to be barely playable at like 25 FPS at the lowest possible settings. If you take a look at the desktop GPUs that came out that year, they are still offering some pretty amazing results given their age. So my final suggestion is, if you live in just one house, all you care about is performance and you're good at planning stuff out so the components, accessories and peripherals that you will need in the future, then definitely go with the desktop. If you have a very active life, so you move all the time, you don't want to spend too much time planning what to get and what not to get, and you don't care about customization and all this kind of stuff, just go with the laptop, it's perfectly fine, you will be able to game on it. Especially now that desktop GPUs are making their way into laptops. If your face while watching this video was like, then definitely give me a thumbs up. If it was like, then definitely give me a thumbs down. Consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next PERFECT PANDEMIC! Rocking an Intel Core i5 6600K and NVIDIA MSI R9... And NVIDIA MSI R9... Pocket boy.